Okay, Easter is around the corner, and I think it's about the time of year to start making goodies. Now, I'm kind of a lazy cook, so let's not even bother with the oven. Let's just make some stuff on the stove. Today, we're going to make nested robin eggs. Yay! Yay! First thing we're going to need, a pan. Second thing we're going to need, a spoon. And we're ready to roll. On your mark, get set, go, 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 go. Two cups sugar. <laughs> Quarter cup cocoa. One stick of butter, which is half cup. Here, your hands Here back up. Half cup milk. Now stir it all together, put it on the stove, and bring it to a boil. <laughs> And while you wait for it to boil, there it is! Okay, and it's boiling hot, so don't let the kids touch it. Back off! Now add one cup peanut butter. Try not to splash. Stir it in. And then one teaspoon vanilla. And you want to know a cool secret about vanilla? Just about every vanilla lid out there is one teaspoon. <laughs> and you want to know one of my other cooking secrets? Always double the vanilla. It's good. Watch. And finally, for the nests, we have three cups of oatmeal. And stir it again. Who wants to be in my brew? <laughs> now some of you are experienced enough to recognize that these are no-bake cookies so far. But now we're going to have a little fun. Let's throw in a couple of cups of just fun cereal. If you've ever seen a bird's nest, they always have kind of little pieces of junk in there. That's what we're trying to imitate. Good. If you've got coconut, throw in like a cup of that too. Unfortunately, I don't have any. But don't worry, it'll still be awesome. Now whip out the wax paper. Grab a spoon and start plopping. Now chances are you have like five sheets of these and that's okay. But when you're done, you wanna go through and give it a little scoop in the middle, kind of a little Cause you need to make room for the eggs. Now comes the fun part. We get to make the eggs. Now all you need for the eggs is one cup of powdered sugar and three quarter cup of peanut butter. And if you're like me, you don't have powdered sugar on hand all the time. That's okay, because I'm going to show you a trick. As long as you promise not to tell anybody, I'm going to show you this secret that I just discovered today. <laughs> We're going to make powdered sugar. All you need is sugar and a blender. So we're going to stick our sugar, one cup of sugar, in the blender. And now, blending party! <laughs> now you'll have to stop and stir it around a little bit once in a while because the sugar likes to just kind of sit on the side and say, I'm not going in there! But just push it all down. It'll cooperate eventually. Actually edit these videos so it'll take a little bit longer in real life that's okay probably five minutes max <laughs> oh and some people like to throw in a teaspoon or a tablespoon of cornstarch if you want to you can I think it's a flavor thing it's totally up to you cornstarch and then back at it again <laughs> This really doesn't take long, I promise. And before you know it, you've got awesome powdered sugar. <laughs> so now, just mix your one cup of powdered sugar. With three quarter cup peanut butter. 
And this can be fun because it wants to poof and fly. Just do the best you can. It's like it's snowing. <laughs> No. Now once it starts getting kind of crumbly, then start creaming it, which is where you kind of mash it with the spoon. And if you need to, just get your hands right in there and knead it. Once it's kind of a greasy, crumbly, pie crust kind of a texture, then we add the food coloring. Bloop, 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 bloop. What do yellow and red make together, guys? Orange! Yes! And if it doesn't color it right off, keep adding until you get the color you want. And don't be afraid to get your hands right in there. Now don't worry too much if the food coloring doesn't mix in all the way. You kind of want the speckled look. You know, like robin eggs with the blue speckled eggs look. Like they have. Now grab a robin egg sized glop and start forming. If you can, roll it in a ball like this. But I usually can't, it's still crumbly. But just do the best you can, form it into a little egg sized ball. And then stick it in the nest. Now, if you've got the time and patience, it'd be fun to separate the stuff out first and then use different colors of food coloring. Like I said, I'm a lazy cook. And voila! We have nest a la eggs. Nice. You don't want to make chocolate. Thanks for joining us again today. This is Chaz Hathaway, cook extraordinaire and author of Marriage is Ordained of God, but who came up with dating and giraffe tracks. Join us again next week for another episode of Gospel Living Made Awesome. for another episode if we want to do another episode